right, lacrosse archery fans. Video number two of the day. You can see we're at the Carbon Express booth here. Today we're with Alex Tate, product manager of Carbon Express. Thanks for having us in. Thank you. All right, first and foremost, um, you guys, we've got all these arrows sitting in front of us, but before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about Carbon Express as a company. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of a history? Yeah, absolutely. Um, been leading innovator on Carbon Arrows for over 30 years now. Mm -hmm. um, always focused on quality, um, always focused on production, making the best consistent arrows that, that we possibly can, um, as well as, you know, Using that with some some very good technologies okay. um, that that no one else has out there. So. All right, um, a lot of guys come into the shop asking for an arrow that everybody. I mean, we could take all the logos off of this arrow, right? But you take all the logos off this arrow, and everybody knows what that is, right? Um, can you tell us a little bit about the Maxima system? What makes why it's three different colors? Yeah. You know those kind of things. Can you walk us through that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the the Maxima red, and as you said, it's. Very easy yeah. to see. Um, the, the coolest thing about this is it's, it's tri-spine technology. So what that means is we actually take three different materials and infuse them together um, in a very, very um, time uh, ex extensive process. Um, and a, a lot of time was just spent in the, the research and design side of it, uh, perfecting the manufacturing side of it even after we proved the design. Um, it, it, it's a long road, long, long road. Um, but what that means to the, the bow hunter is we're focused on broadhead flight. So this rear end is actually a, a stiffer material than this middle. Okay. This middle red section actually harnesses all of the flex because an arrow does need to flex to be accurate. Um, and then on the front here, again, it's a, a stiff, stiff um, carbon use. The difference between the back and the front, the front is a little bit heavier okay. so that it built in weight forward. Um, it's very little but the effects that it has on the arrow are very large, okay. in fact, um, especially on accuracy and broadhead accuracy. All right, and then is that the same with the, the SD? Right, right. Okay. Very similar design. Um, stiff rear portion, weaker middle section, stiff front section um, to, to harness that broadhead flight, um, to harness all of the flex into the, the middle of the arrow. Okay. Um, the difference between this SD, obviously, it's a small diameter version. So it's 203 inside diameter. Guys that are looking for um, a little bit extra weight, a little bit extra penetration, less wind drift. Mm -hmm. um, and this also features our, our great uh, steel half out insert. Okay. So very durable, adds extra FOC. Yep. Um, this has been a hit. We introduced this last year um, and, and lots of calls about it, lots of uh, great reviews on it this year. So um, just kind of wanted to, to build on that. and. We actually came out with, you know, a Badlands series mm -hmm. this year. So the Badlands approach camo has really been catching on for us. So we took our Maxima Red and our Maxima Red SD and actually cloaked them in, in Badlands camo. Okay. Same identical arrow. You can actually take three Maxima Reds, three Badlands, put them in your quiver, yeah, same, same. shoot them at the dot down there. They're all going to hit the same, same way, same spine, okay. just a different look. Yeah. Um, and as we all know, this, this center section is unlike any other graphic out there. It, it's buff tough material. It's actually built into the arrow. It's part of the design. Okay, so it's not just a wrap? No, a not a wrap. It's not going to come off. Okay. If it comes off, you've got a lot more issues than your graphic <laughs> missing. So, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Um, these have been getting great reviews. Uh, the, the bow side of things, the, the Kuyu, the Sitka yep. camos have really taken off. Um, and this just goes right along hand in hand with there. that. Yeah. So. Um, if what you know, I was to walk into a bow shop, you know, say that we're not somebody that's at the, at the show right now, you know, somebody that's pretty new to the archery game or you know hasn't really shot an, a higher level arrow, um, walk them through, say, I'm the customer, walk them through a buying process on what arrow we should look for, yeah. you know, as far as need or what they what they need to look for. Right. Um, and I always try to start out with with the need, right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing as a hunter? Okay. Are you going turkey hunting? Are you going elk hunting? Are you going so bear I'm, hunting? You know, a lot of our customers, and we've seen it too. I don't know if you guys have in in the industry as well. A lot of guys are going away from that shotgun turkey hunt in the spring, and they're bringing their bow with them. So, and I and personally, I don't want to buy an arrow for a turkey. I don't want to buy an arrow for a whitetail. I don't want to buy an arrow for an elk. Yep. I want. All three, because I don't one. want to have to retune my bow. Yep. And that's, I think that's the same with a lot of customers. Yeah. Because that's a lot of time. Certainly. And money. 
Uh, Certainly. So, is, yeah, so say somebody comes in living in Wisconsin, so we're, they're not little whitetails, right? Um, and elk oh, and a turkey, you know, trying to cool. kill a tom with an arrow. Absolutely. What would you suggest? So we have arrows for every application, oh, yeah. um, and that's why I ask, because some guys, you know, are on that, man, I'm, I'm just elk hunting this yeah. year. I drew the tag of a lifetime, and I'm all in, right? Yep. I'm not even thinking about anything else. All right, well, maybe you should step up to a small diameter, you know, pay a little bit extra, because you're getting those benefits that you need for that specific hunt. Yeah. But at the same token, we offer arrows that are great all around. Mm -hmm. um, I would say our best all around arrow would be our Maxima Red. Yep. It's that mid weight arrow, um, not too light for speed, not so heavy that you're just only looking for penetration under that 30, 40 yard yep. um, distance. So, so Maxima Red would be a, a great starting arrow for the, the top end, high end guy mm -hmm. that's looking for a great all around arrow. Your best broadhead flight um, that you're going to see in our lineup or, or any of our competitors out there. And you don't have to be the best professional archer to see a difference, which okay. is the astounding part of it. You know, even the Bobby bow hunter that shoots one or two times a week getting ready for bow season, they see a big difference between shooting a maximum red compared to a traditional single spine okay. arrow. So, um, one that's been around, oh, I don't have one, the maximum hunter. Yes, um, certainly. Th is th that's kind of the a same staple. idea. Yep, that's yes. a staple. Yep. Um, let's see if there's. There is one there's right one behind there. you. Yep, those go. yellow veins right there. So that's a that's a dual spine yep. weight forward shaft. Yep. So that's you're talking that maximum red would be the, the perfect one on that higher end. Right. Something a little bit more entry level. Yep. Would be that maximum hunter. The the maximum hunter is actually the same price range. Oh, is it? Um, okay. It's it's a legacy shaft for us to be quite honest. Um, we've had it around for close to ten years and the demand is just still, still there. there. Yep. Still there. Still there. Um, so, so we've kept it around. Obviously, you don't you don't want to get rid of that and people love it. Um, I think the biggest reason people really enjoy the shaft is when it came out, there was struggles for other manufacturers to even make a consistent arrow, let alone um, making an arrow that had advantages for, for the consumer, like great broadhead flight. Mm -hmm. um, so the guys bought into this arrow. You know, they'd never seen or shot anything mm -hmm. that was on its level, and, and they just have no reason to go they anywhere else. Yeah. So that's, a, that's just always a great testament. Um, but at the same token, if you are looking for something on the, the more cost-effective side of things, mm -hmm. we certainly have those. Um, yeah. We introduced a Mayhem DS series last year, which is a dual-spine weight forward um, arrow shaft. So again, that offers you some, some broadhead um, flight advantages, okay. um, as well as um, it, that is a little bit more of a mid-weight shaft, right? Um, so this year, we went ahead and revamped the pile driver. Okay. made it dual spine weight forward. Now this is a heavy version of that. Okay. So if you're looking only to kind of white tail hunt 30, 40 yards, this would be it. Penetration. Yep, yep. yep. Um, so that, that mayhem and pile driver line, now it offers you, the consumer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, some key advantages to accuracy and broadhead flight, as well as bringing it in at a, a reasonable price range, right? Good deal. And then that's the mayhem. That's SDS. So that's just right. the same thing. Two hundred three. Right. Versus so, yes. the normal. So driver. so we introduced a new mayhem SDS this year, okay. which is again in that same lineup of things. So the mayhem DS runs anywhere from fifty nine ninety nine to sixty four ninety nine mm -hmm. MSRP for a six pack. These run seventy four ninety nine. So still in that that yeah, mid price ballpark, range. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Um, features our two hundred three half out steel insert. Okay. So um, very durable. That was another question I had. We have as a shop and with our customers um, getting more serious about penetration. Yeah. Um, that stainless steel is something, getting that FOC, getting that heavier, you know, front half of that arrow being heavier, getting that penetration. Is that something that you only offer in those? Is that, or is there an aluminum half out as well? No, nope, we do yes. not offer aluminum half out. Okay. Um, you'll see our offerings, we might not have as much variation mm -hmm. in our components as other competitors. The reason that is is because we do thorough, thorough testing, and when things don't work, we don't offer it so because it, it only takes one component to screw up the whole design. Yeah, the whole so so if, if we were to come out with an Illumina half out, I can assure you that it's it's not nearly as durable. It won't last over time. Um, so that's why we, we only come out only with the steel. The steel. Okay. Yep. Um, we're not just a bow hunting shop. We're also a target shop. Um, actually, one of our part-time guys, Cody Vossen, is on a picture in the booth here. Um, so we're a target shop as well. Leagues start on Monday at our shop. A little bit about the, the, 
the thicker shafts. Absolutely. Can you talk about those yeah. for a second? Yeah, this is my bread and butter. This is uh, <laughs> Target's what gets me up in the morning. Um, so this is our brand new Tank 27. Um, we've had a 27 series shaft for quite some time, but everyone has real struggles getting um, a 27 series to be accurate, forgiving. Um, very, very few archers out there actually trust a 27 series shaft. Okay. And talking to pros, you'll even hear the same thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of them will just choose to take their, their smaller 23s because they're more forgiving under pressure. Um, and at the end of the day, they're just a little bit more accurate. So we, we focused on, we're gonna bring out a new 27 this year. It's gotta be something different. Um, it can't just be a new label. Mm -hmm. it, it can't just be a different look. Um, it has to perform. So we spent long hours. <laughs> our, you know, our teams worked day and night, literally day and night, um, to make this and our, our new Tank 23D shaft come alive. Um, the biggest selling points on, on this guy right here is, the, again, the consistency side of it. Mm -hmm. So we focus on not spine aligning. You know, we want to make that shaft as consistent as possible. And anyone who's worked with the manufacturing side of things knows that consistency is very hard no matter what you do, um, especially work when you work with raw materials like carbon. Um, mm -hmm. They change. You know, all it takes is a little bit of temperature, and you've got a completely different arrow. So it. it long time coming um, but this shaft features amazing 360 degree spine which allows the archer to tune shoot uh, get a lot better forgiveness um, than any other 27 series out there so my testament to this is that I am a 27 inch draw length um, generally someone my size my stature would not get even accuracy out of a 27 um, throughout us designing this arrow I'm sitting there thinking I'm not really going to have a fun time shooting this yeah. target season. And you just heard me say that's what gets me up in the morning. So sitting there, man, I'm, I'm going to struggle shooting this 27 this year. And I, I don't have any time to yeah. shoot any extra. I'm working I'm more and more, busy. right? <laughs> um, which is good as well. But I've been just tickled pink. I'm shooting better scores. And I've shot with my X-Busters. And X-Busters earned me my first you know, 300 Vegas round yep. in a tournament, You know, earned me my first 600 round in a tournament. So. That's my testament. Um, it, this is just a great shaft that really seems to work for everyone. Okay. So um, we wanted to also revamp our CXL line. So our, our CXL has been with us for quite some time. Um, it is our 3D Light 23 shaft. And we really wanted to set out to make it stronger because even on the target side of things, we're seeing a, a drift away from extremely, extremely light because the bows have gotten 60 feet a second faster in the yeah. last five to seven <laughs> years, right? Yeah. So, so, and we all know that a little bit heavier arrow, usually a little bit more forgiving and accurate yeah. at the end of the day. So we wanted to really make this durable. So we didn't mind going up a little bit in weight. It, they increased about a half a grain per inch from the CXL, but we gained 35% in front and rear braking strength. Oh, perfect. So you're going to see companies out there that test the middle braking strength, but how many times do you actually break an arrow in the middle? You know, yeah. it's, it's always on the uh, front or the, the rear, yep. um, either from hitting an insert or hitting a, a point that was lodged in the target as you're entering or, you know, smashing a 12 ring and then your buddy stepping up right behind yep. you and hitting your knock. So, so we really wanted to focus on that. Um, came out great. Again, 360 degree spine on this, extremely consistent. Um, the only, you know, the only manufacturer out there that's focusing on, on that consistent build. Um, so we've been just very happy with the, the launch of these two arrows. And that's pretty serious too, but on the backside. Yes, yeah, like certainly. Saying, it's look, it's more. I mean, because a lot of times we'll, when we put in the pin bushings, it's inside the arrow. This is even bigger. Yeah, um, this so this is our this is our collar system. Yep. Um, so you can choose to run it with or without the okay, collar. Okay, so that's similar to yeah, the shaft e exactly. Like the, yep, yep. I can even just pull one of yep, these yep. these out here. So that's just a yeah. It's just a so it's the collar same. that slides over. Gotcha. Yep, but gotcha. it's it's amazing how much more that actually protects it. Yeah, um, it, it really does do a great job for us. And then normal. That's your normal maxima. Yes, this is actually not necessarily normal is maxima. That, um, this is something that you guys probably will be very interested in. This is a, a dealer only shaft. Okay. So no distributor sales, no online sales. Um, only can be found in pro shops like yourself. Um, it's a traditional single spine shaft. It MSRPs at 1050 per arrow, okay. um, and it, it's great weave look to it. Mm -hmm. Two and a half thousand straightness. So in that price range, yep. it's generally that three straight, three thousand yeah. straightness. Yep. So 
beating the competitors on specs, beating the competitors on looks, and beating the competitors on accuracy. So awesome. as always, just wanting to be the, the leader in carbon arrows. Yeah. One final thing before we round up. There's something that I have never seen actually in person. I've read about, um, and I've, I walked by earlier in, in the week, and I was like, what the heck? That's a really long arrow. Do you want to grab one of those? Absolutely, for absolutely, me? certainly. This is something that personally I know Anthony's going to go crazy over because uh, it's something different. <laughs> and tell me about this. Yeah, bit, so, so this is our atlatl. Um, been around forever. We're not, we're not reinventing the wheel here no. by any means. Um, but what we have done is take it from the guy who's whittling them mm -hmm. by him, you know, in his garage or in his wood shop, because that's truthfully pretty much the only way you can get one these days. Yeah. Um, we've, you know, vamped it up. We've uh, manufacturing it um, carbon. That's the biggest difference. Yeah. So durability, um, keeping that weight in a reasonable range. Um, this thing at the end of the day is just a bunch of fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, now certainly you can go hunting with it. Um, it's got a standard insert on the front. I don't know if Brandon can see that. Yep. There we go. There we go. Standard brass insert on the front, so a little bit extra FOC to help with flight, um, as well as you can take this field point right out and screw in any any standard broadhead. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> la the last point I'll make about it is it's a three-piece design, so yep. unlike a traditional yep. atlatl that's out of wood, yep. um, you can actually break this down into two-foot sections. Put in your backpack. And, and off. get after it. You got it. It's like you cool. said, something different. Yeah. Definitely. Along with everything else on the table, um, as per usual, like I said, we started out with, this is an arrow people know about, that people recognize, and you're a company that people recognize too. So I'm really excited to talk with you guys about your arrows, what makes them great, um, and exciting new things for 2018. Yeah. So I appreciate your time. You bet. Do we have any questions throughout the video, Miranda? No, we're good to go. Two more left, guys. We're rounding out ATA. I appreciate you watching. Um, appreciate you hanging out with us. Same with you, Alex. Thank you, Dan. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you in a little bit.